Hi, my name is Mayan Shah with RVMax.us, and today we have one of the most rare and beautiful coaches that has ever been built. This is a 1999 Prevost XL40 converted by Marathon Coach. This coach has the proportions. It has something that's not done anymore, a 40-foot Prevo bus. On top of being a rare bird, it has been maintained and kept up very, very well. It was garaged, it was well looked after, it was well loved. It was replaced by a coach that in current market value is worth a multitude of what we're asking for this coach. And it was still cried over when the coach left their property. I think and I hope um, you'll get an idea of why today. I certainly know why. And I've been having a lot of fun playing with this coach and drooling over it. It's, it's, it's quite the bus. And then when you get to drive the whole piece as one unit and the way it drives, especially as a 40 footer being so much more maneuverable. I mean, I'm in the back parking lot of Brookwood Church. I had to squeeze myself back here through tight trees, curbs everywhere, and I could not have done it in a 45 footer, 100%. Let's get started through some of the details here, and I'm gonna try to be concise, because look, I can blab a lot, all right? Up front, we've got this plexiglass, super thick coach armor piece with a fold-up area right here, and this is protecting the front of this coach. That's why if you look behind there, the paint condition is nearly immaculate. It's not exactly perfect, but it's nearly there. And for a 99, that is impressive, um, and that's because this fella has been here, I believe for its whole life. If you could find a date, that would be interesting. But anyways, you can always take this off, but it's there protecting the face of the coach. We've got LED fog lights, and then we've got our classic forward headlights that come on these older XLs. Um, and then a big solid chrome bumper. The paint job is exquisite. We've got, uh, of course, top hats on our Ramco mirrors. The mirrors are in perfect condition. The chrome is just very nice. Um, and yeah, the chrome goes well with the coach. I love all the, the stainless steel on this bus because every time, in fact, when we pulled up here, it caught some attention. Everywhere you drive it, it really breaks next because it looks like a rock star bus. Up here is um, a lot of electronics and wiring to the coach. It's extremely well labeled. The condition of the labeling is top notch. That's a minor detail, but nice to see. Now down below that wiring, we've got a big storage compartment that houses multiple components, including an accessory air compressor, our front uh, forward cruise air, and a couple other uh, components down in here. And essentially, this is a service bay. Um, the only time you're gonna open this is if you need to service it, or if you need to get to your nice, long air hose that's located on this door panel and then you can hook it up to an air chuck, which is quite nice, and there is an air chuck in here. So it's kind of a service bay. You have to undo a couple screws here in addition to unlocking uh, this compartment to get to it. Now this has 315 size tires all around with polished aluminum wheels um, in the middle and custom marathon lug nut caps and center cap. The windows um, are killer. Some of these older XL40s don't have the greatest window setup. They kind of limit it and actually make it more like a regular RV. This bus is more of the newer style, all the newer Prevos. They glorify the Prevo windows. Now the first compartment here behind our front axle on the driver's side is a 20 kilowatt marathon turbo diesel generator. There's a breaker for the auxiliary fan to keep it cool. And it's very quiet from the outside of the coach. The exhaust is piped straight out the top of the coach that is quite thoughtful. The pipe literally goes here and right up there. So think about it. I've always disliked the pipes that go under the bedroom. Yes, you've got carbon monoxide sensors. So in the end, you'd be warned, but, and if you make a nice pipe, it's not gonna leak, but it's just nice limiting the length of that exhaust pipe. And by the way, how clean is this generator? It's insanely clean. The compartment is immaculate. I mean, this looks cleaner than most coaches decades newer than this bus. Now the next compartment is where we start to see some storage. Um, we've got a full pass-through storage compartment here, carpeted. There's some nice hanging hooks on the top um, on both sides here. There's also Zip D original marathon chairs 
nice storage compartment. We've got outlets in here, we've got breakers. Um, there's AC breakers there on the left. And we've also got a set of gauges um, showing us what's going on with the generator next door. So the next compartment over, or actually in between the next compartment, we've got our 200 gallon fuel tank right here, dual fillable. This compartment is where our two trace engineering 4024 inverters are located. So we've got 8,000 watts of total inverter power. Uh, they're 24 watt inverters. This is gonna maintain our solid amount of battery power, which we'll see on the other side of the coach. Um, there is also an electric power cord reel for the 50 amp cord. And this has a replaced new cord um, that comes out the bottom. There's a kill switch for the cord reel button um, and the button's right there on the right. Carpeting in here is very clean. You gotta love these XL doors. The way they shut is so satisfying. Now this is kind of uh, special that this custom paint job actually goes down pretty low and onto the compartment. That's a rare thing to see on a lot of XLs. And then also, we've got this nice red stripe um, that goes all along the bottom of the coach. And it actually almost blends into the bus because when you're looking at it, you have so much reflecting going on off the stainless steel that it's kind of easy to imagine, oh yeah, that's just a reflection or something. But then you look down and you're like, oh, it's actually painted. And it frames the coach quite well. It gives it a nice kind of um, even look on the bottom of the coach. And up above, these colors are just beautiful. I cannot get over how gorgeous this paint job is. It's a John Starr custom paint job. We've got these interesting graphics um, that you see throughout the paint job on the coach. And uh, there's probably more meaning. There's probably something behind that. I don't know. All I know is it looks fantastic. And I love any kind of like pinstriping going on that actually is attached to those little balls that becomes really big there, like a big oval. Um, to me, it's like a view into a desert or a globe, but they're, they're quite special. They even have shadowing um, in the paint. You know, it, the shadowing looks like real shadowing, the way they've done it on those. It's, it takes a lot uh, to enjoy this coach. I've caught myself multiple times just sitting there just like in awe looking at the coach. And you gotta love rivets too. XL40 without the rivets, it looks good, but with the rivets, it's just that extra bit of timelessness um, that I like seeing. I like both looks, don't get me wrong, but there's a good part of me that prefers rivets, not gonna lie. Now in our dump bay here, you can dump your black and gray tank. Um, you've also got a nice inlet um, for fresh water here. You've got a big stainless outside faucet that actually folds out to a good distance. Really nifty little system there, high end feel. And then there's a quick disconnect on our black tank flush as well. This is pretty nice to have, especially um, this way, instead of having a plastic mana block, which hey, those work and those are nice too. We've got stainless piping here with individual valves um, for hot and cold in specific areas. So if you get a little plumbing leak on a trip, you can cut that area off and still use the rest of your plumbing system. Now the rest of this bay is quite nicely finished. We've got stainless everywhere. We've got uh, a little compartment here that's being used for gloves. So you've got disposable gloves. And we've got a stainless little case for paper towels. And then we've got a nice stainless finished soap dispenser. The dumps are straightforward, black and gray. There's a water filter for the whole coach. Whole coach. Um, and overall, again, as usual, the compartment is very clean. This also has an autofill capability. So you just click the autofill button once and it will top off the tank and do its thing. You won't have to worry about coming back to a swimming pool under the coach. And the last little bit of this area is the cable TV connection being covered in that little round stainless piece. Um, looks pretty nice. Now, I'm not sure if cable is connected because the TVs have all been updated, um, but even if it's not, it looks pretty nice. We've got our dually back here and tag. And these are Toyos on the back. We've got Michelin tires on the front and we've got Toyos with 31 of 17 date code tires in the back. This is our bedroom here. We've got four massive windows in the bedroom and I'll point these out as we walk through the interior, but we've got these nice little vent out windows here. And there's also a Zip D aluminum um, awning package. So we've got 
multiple window awnings, and we've got a nice big zip D patio awning. This compartment opening up is quite nice. It's quick and easy access um, to your side radiator, and you can clean it, keep it clean. These radiators look almost new. They're in excellent condition. Nice stainless uh, fat exhaust pipe. I like the stainless exhaust pipe. It looks pretty good on this thing. The rears of these coaches are quite nice too. I've always liked this really prominent rectangle shape for the tail lights. Gives it an interesting look, um, especially with the rest of the bus. I, I think it looks, it just looks like solid and dense. Now the Series 60 in this coach is a 12.7 liter. And here we've got an unbelievably clean um, or nearly unbelievably clean engine compartment. Big turbo on the left. The Series 60 is legendary. This has a two-stage Jacobs brake on it, which sounds uh, terrific and uh, has good stopping power. Overall, the engine is very clean. Um, intake is actually coming from up top, so you get cooler air. And then just like all the older um, Prevost, we've got our uh, fuse box controls and some of the stuff for the uh, engine management up here. Airbags are in good shape too. So there is a valve where you can actually deflate this and easily remove and change your belts out. Now these little compartments here are where you can top off um, your fluids. Um, you can top off coolant, stuff like that over on the left. And right here we've got our oil reservoir as well as a access point to a diagnostic port. And this has the D-Deck D -deck driver package, um, which I believe allows us to have that nice uh, port to look into the computer system of the, the bus. And how can I be forgetting, by the way, before we move on from the back, um, we've got an updated color camera, which is probably more important than the next thing I'm about to tell you. Um, but this has this custom graphic continued, as you can clearly see, those little round circles with the shadows, star design signature here on the right, and then we've got this um, extra add-on that kind of makes this bus, I mean, if the paint job wasn't already like rare enough or special enough for you, um, we've got this unique chipboard that's being revealed by this open hatch um, that's painted into the rear cap of the coach. And ah, it just looks awesome, it looks really special. There's more access to the side of this engine. That's a big pro about any Prevo bus. The access to the engine is top notch. Serviceability on these coaches is a huge pro when it comes to actually getting to the engine and the chassis side. These are built for endurance. Um, and that means not making it hard to get to stuff. Now we've got four chassis side batteries over here. And those are to start the coach. There's also two cutoffs. There's a tender there. Um, already set up so you just keep those tended when you're parked. Center caps are all intact on these wheels. The wheels are in excellent condition. Windows are in nice condition. Paint is in amazing condition. This coach being original is nuts. Now all these compartments have electric locks and um, you can do it from a remote. The door also has an electric lock. Now this is the other side of our plumbing bay here. This coach has two water pumps. One is a backup. And um, we've also got two 11 gallon Atwood hot water heaters. So you've got 22 gallons of Atwood hot water. Um, so that'll be plenty in this bus. And on the left of this compartment, we've got an electric heater. So you can turn that heater on, uh, keep the bay heated, no problem. There's a gravity fill for your water, which is always nice to see. So you can fill the fresh tank, the old, old style way, just going straight into the tank. And then we've also got a water outlet here. So you can get water out of your system. You can pump water out of your tank, or if you're plugged into city pressure, use city pressure um, pretty much. It's just a tap that you can use to put a hose on. And I love how substantial feeling um, just the cap is. Everything is very clean, well labeled, pump number one, pump number two little plaques, very clean piping, pressure regulator over here. It's just, um, it's a beautiful coach. I mean, these are timeless machines and, and you not only see it with the design, with the paint and all that stuff, but you see it with the fundamentals and the components used, um, which is not, it is more meaningful than the paint and the style, 
but um, in, in, in a fundamental way. But it's very nice to have both, isn't it? Now, right here, we've got our outside Gen Air cooktop. This was an option at the time that was custom ordered. It's got this mirror piece that has these felt backing uh, little inserts or these felt stickers on the back. Um, so it presses up on that stainless compartment door easily. But there's a nice piece of Corian here. It was finished out to match the rest of the coach. And you can tell, it looks good. Gets a far distance out. This is also gonna protect you from grease splatters. And you've got like four burners here pretty much. Um, top notch, very top notch. I can't believe the slide drawer mechanism too. Um, the way it slides all the way out is fantastic. Now down below is a outside smart TV. This had an entertainment package uh, as an option and this will come out on a swivel. So this is cleanly done. Um, as you can see, you got Netflix on there. You got everything you want and helps bring the coach um, into the 21st century. Actually, <laughs> being that this is a 99. Another fuel access port here. And then here we go with our pass through storage. Now, the bottom box is slap full of a bunch of goodies that you're gonna get free of charge because you're purchasing this coach. We didn't have the heart to take this out. We've also got all the original manuals to this coach, all that um, original build sheet to the bus, so much information, it could make an enthusiast cry. There's also a nice little, little, little giant ladder safely stowed away, so if you need to climb up on the top of the coach, um, you will have the ability to do so. Carpeting is very clean in these storage compartments. Um, it's really hard to believe that this is a 99 coach. Now this right here is a small amount of storage. We've got a free of charge rug that comes with the bus. Um, we've also got some generator indicators here, and then there's a nice fire extinguisher. And this compartment right here, this nifty compartment, houses six 8D series Lifeline batteries. Now those batteries are about a grand a piece, if not more, um, and they were all replaced in 2019. And the, uh, at the same time, the chassis starting batteries were replaced. Those Lifelines are good for at least 10 years. Um, well, I don't know about at least 10 years, but they're good for up to 10 years, which they're the top of the line AGM batteries you can put in a bus. Look at that little nifty window awning. I love the little cute window awning they've got up here. And also that extra window they put on both sides of the top of the coach. Um, the bus is truly magnificent. Let's go take a peek at the inside. All right, welcome inside. This is a beautiful coach and I am very thankful to be off of that hot tarmac. Um, we've actually brought the coach back here to our facility. We've got it plugged into 50 amp and we've got our air conditionings going so we can hang out on the inside and take a look around. Um, the interior here has been clearly, clearly very well specced um, and we're gonna walk through it. The, the big thing to take away from this entire video is the condition of this 1999 model coach. This thing looks better than most coaches that are decades newer. Up here we've got these two sofas that both jackknife into beds and both of them have drawers underneath for extra added storage. And the window sills throughout the bus um, have these big thick Corian countertop pieces that support all these valences and the accent pieces that go around the windows. There's Corian even built in where these wall lights are mounted into. And these wall lights have been changed to a more modern looking LED light. They're smart lights, you can control them with a remote control. You can have them fade together, which is what um, they are doing currently. And it's quite nice, it's a nice touch. Um, the couches are in immaculate condition. They're literally perfect. I've not seen a single little thing I could nitpick about them at all. And one of the things that I quite like about this bus is it has these manual roll shades um, and it's a nice style shade. This is one of uh, my favorites. It is Kaya's favorite type of shade. So all the way down, you've got privacy. You keep going, you've got daylight coming through, but still have a good bit of privacy. You can't see that through that, um, especially with those tinted windows. The fabric choice here is nice, tasteful. Red goes with the rest of the coach, especially with this walnut wood. Um, 
This wood was a nice choice. We've got all our original glassware from Marathon Coach up in here. Accent lights are working. There's accent lights um, under a lot of these countertop pieces, under a lot of the window pieces, and even in your dinette piece. Um, the floors, by the way, in the living room have been changed. So from the front entrance all the way until it meets this tile, we've got an upgraded LVP floor here. It's flush with the tile. And in the bedroom, they've gone with the same flooring back there to replace the carpet. Goes well with the coach. The ceiling um, in the bus is covered completely in a suede leather with this mirror piece in the center here with the uh, recessed mirrors. There's two big mirrors, very styled. Um, they're not exactly the same shape either, but they fit together. It's a pretty cool look. Now the galley space, we've got our nice um, tile flooring here, polished tile flooring, and you start to see a good bit more cabinets uh, once you get into the galley space. And these cabinets have a lot of storage in them. Even the little piece here that holds our inserts, our Corian inserts for the sink and the stove top is covered in carpet. There's also a nice little trash bin on a slide rack there. All the cabinetry is in excellent condition. Oh, Kai's phone case. A couple drawers there. There's an even deeper one down here. It's all carpeted. Carpeting is in really clean shape. Um, there are one or two minor little stains, not in this one, but in one of the other cabinets. But overall, the carpeting is really clean and it just gives it a nice look. When you open this up, it's all clean, nice, looks soft. Oh, there's another little storage compartment here. Um, this is set up to do whatever you'd like with it. You can put it up, use this as pretty much a nice little display to decorate it and make it more like your own. Accent lights continue up in there too. But yeah, the galley space here, it's a typical shape from this generation marathon. We've got a Gaganel dual stove top. It's a flat stove top. Really like the windows behind here. Again, um, big plus to have those Prevo windows. Right here, we've got our dual sink. And that is an absolutely gigantic sink on the right here. There's a pot cleaner, this will come out. That is a designer faucet there. And there is also a food processing system back here. This was a common thing to see on an older bus like this. And it does work. Um, you will have to find the right um, blender that fits there. But you turn this thing on, and you can blend you up some food. It's kind of surprising. Um, this is actually not Corian. This is Avonite, um, and it's a thick Avonite. You can see how thick it is here real clearly. And what this does is it allows you to have these real rounded corners on the countertops, which is a subtle but high-end feature on this bus. There is a dishwasher here. This is like a mini household style dishwasher, not one of the drawer types, which I quite like. And then up above, we've got a microwave convection oven. A little more storage here. This is the blower fan controller. Um, it's actually kind of interesting. This does have three cruise airs. Um, however, there are also these additional blower fan controllers and temperature setters. Um, which is fascinating to see on a bus, and it gives you a little more control over the air conditioning system. There is also a power brew. If you can find the exact um, replacement, you might be able to get this thing to work. It does power on and everything, but you do need the uh, pot that slides in here. It's, it's a travel um, coffee brewer. It's made to go down the road with the pot of coffee there. You know, you get up from your seat, you wanna take a break, you pour yourself a cup of coffee. That's pretty cool if you can find the Power Brew um, Fitment in there, or a little pot, the, the pot, it's not a big deal. Extra storage here, I like how they tried to use all the space they could there. Carpeted again, and then I love this little pull out. This is the controller for our front LED lights. And then uh, got these three drawers. This has been recovered here. There's a couple stains on it. So it looks a lot better with that recovered piece there. The carpeting in all the cabinets is actually overall relatively clean. It's very common to see it on a 99 model bus. And across from our cooktop and everything, we've got this 
um, kind of chrome mirror finish Gen Air household refrigerator um, with an automatic ice dispenser on the left. Got your filtered water and everything you can get through there. Um, I really like the look. This has like, a, you know, the plastics have this kind of tent to them almost. Makes them look more clear. I don't know, it just makes them look a little different. Bottled water is mine, so too bad. That's a big size refrigerator. Um, there is a pocket door right here, by the way. This is one of the best locking mechanisms you can get on a coach because this will actually stay shut while you're driving down the road. That's a brass piece there. And speaking of brass, under all the Corian um, pieces, the big countertop pieces in this coach, we've got this European style brass trim work that slides along under here. And that is solid brass. Gives it a really slick look, especially when you're looking at the countertops from this angle. It just really blends in, especially with those accent lights up underneath here. Now this is sort of an infinity mirror table. We've got our thick Avonite countertop going around it. Um, and it's actually in good condition. It's not really scratched up that much at all. Um, and it looks, looks very good. Even the accent lights, you know, are not burnt up in there, which is shocking. Those things typically, especially at this age, have been used all their life or they were left on or whatever. The leather is also in excellent condition. Uh, in the original sticker for this coach, they call this leather color mustard, but to me it's it's quite a classic leather color, and you've got all this beautiful detail just in these dinette chairs, and it matches the chairs up in the front cockpit, and the condition is top notch. They show nowhere at all on these dinette chairs, and minimal, 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 minimal wear on the driver's seat up front. You really can't tell the age of these uh, full grain leather furniture pieces. Now here is a little special treat goodie here. Let me lay it down. Let me lay it down to you. Hold on. Right there, baby. That is the original window sticker for this coach. This coach had an original sticker in 1999 of about $760,000 with $33,000 of total options. Today that's about $1.4 million. And um, yeah, it lists everything that's in the coach. Let's list all the... Uh, Electronic systems, the AC systems, all that good stuff. And we've got a whole bunch more here in this storage box. We've got the original wiring diagrams to the bus. We've even got the original paint code to the bus. It's all very organized and it's all here. Big plus to have this in any bus. Now right here, we've got extra storage, all carpeted in there. It's actually a decent amount of storage that got hidden over there. Intake for one of our cruisers is there. There's outlets there. Um, we've got a tow kick electric heater in the galley space and a, a Wabasto burner, which will give you furnace heat in the coach too, in addition to those electric heaters and the cruise air system. All right, here's the bathroom space. This bathroom is uh, really nice. No slide floor plan. This whole thing is constant. This is what you get all the time. You park the bus at a national park somewhere. You, don't, you can't put your slides out, no problem. You don't need to put your slides out. And this bathroom space takes full advantage of it. It's huge in here. I mean, we've got our toilet right here hidden in this little cubby hole. The toilet roll is held in this little compartment to the side. Ah, oh, the amount of space here is so relaxing. I'm just sitting here too. Good bit of countertop space that wraps all the way around here. Deep sink. And then back behind here, we've got all this medicine cabinet space, all carpeted nicely. And if you haven't noticed by now, all of the interior recessed lighting has been changed out to LED lights. All three of these open up. Ton of storage. The hinges are overkill too. I mean, look at these hinges. <laughs> it's very high quality. There's outlets back there too. There's an extra storage compartment behind this toilet here. And then there's more storage, of course, down underneath the sink. Speaking of storage, more storage. This is deep storage right here. That does smell really good. You know, in fact, this coach overall has a great smell. Um, it kind of reminds us of an old beaver smell. It's kind of a sweet leather wood smell. I don't know what it is. It's uh, it, 
but it's an old nice coke smell that this thing has. It smells fresh in here. No smoke smell, no pet odor. This thing smells, again, very nice. It smells like a high quality coach. Wood is all in nice shape on this thing. I love this wood color. We've got a fantastic fan above the shower here. Um, we've got a thermostat for our rear furnace here. Um, this lighting, lighting is all controlled through a multiplex switch switch system. There are buttons everywhere for everything. And behind one of the thickest cabinet doors you will see, the most substantial cabinet doors you'll see, is our washer dryer stack. We've got our washer down on the bottom with a little label that says, do not use if gray tank is over 50%. That's a nice reminder. And then up above, we've got a replaced new dryer. So it's nice having a washer dryer stack in this coach. There's all these little accent lights under this Avonite. It's a great looking bathroom space all in all. The shower is huge too. So let me take out this pen. Roll open the glass and you've got this little, I always think of these as like phones because of the way they hook on there. But you got basically your little shower sprayer, main shower head. You've got uh, built in this stonework here, beautiful stonework. Look at this little design they've got going on here. Um, you can keep your soap, all that good stuff. And clearly we've got this big piece with the accent light down there. Um, that is cool. This is a shower to experience. All right, stonework continues, woodwork continues. Before I get too excited about the bedroom, let me show you our big wardrobe space here. Um, original fabric here, extra fabric, big storage space in here. And then this was actually an option. Um, these nice finished out drawers. And I love how they slide out like kind of sideways like that to keep flush when they're back in. And there's actually a little rack here. So what you could do is open this up like that and it's actually made to do it. It's got like these little resistance rollers that pop in place and you can shut off the bathroom um, and then have a little towel rack here right outside your shower door. Okay, welcome to the bedroom. Before we get started too quickly on the bedroom, right here we've got our control panel. This control panel lets you control both inverters. You've got um, your water heaters, you've got your water pumps, all that good stuff you can control from here and then fan and temperature control for the rear um, bedroom air conditioner here too. And then down below we've got main breakers uh, for the coach. So if something trips, you don't have to go outside. You just untrip it right here. Um, now one other thing, there is a blind. So that shower, that big see-through accent piece, you can actually put down a shade um, in order to make it private from the bedroom. Look at that design with the airplanes and stuff in that shower, that shower piece. I absolutely love it. Um, they even got some clouds in that shower piece. Okay, so we've got a queen bed. We've got our new flooring here. Um, they've tried to pack in as much storage as we can get. We've got storage here. We've got storage here, all carpeted. And there's three little drawers here on this side of the bed. We've got reading lights here. The thermostat for the heating, the rear heating, fantastic spot. It's right here above the headboard. There's storage up above, again, all carpeted. So how many of these? We've got one, two, three, four storage compartments like that. Again, wood is just gorgeous. We've got this moonlight accent piece in the center, um, all wrapped in Alcantara leather, um, kind of like a Rolls Royce in a way. We've got these lights uh, poking through and displaying through there. Looks super beautiful. Another updated, so we'll cover the, we'll show you that front smart TV. All the TVs have been changed out, but another smart TV back here. You step up on this piece. You've got a radio system back here. You can have your satellite hooked up if you'd like. Um, and then there's basically a bunch of storage space. We've got outlets there. Um, we've got our rear bedroom air conditioning system control right there. Lots of drawer space, lots of drawer space. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six big deep drawers here. And then, voila, behind this mirror is another wardrobe. Automatic lighting comes on in there. It's carpeted on the bottom. And yeah, I love how this rolls out of place or, and rolls out. It's really cool. There's also magnets that suck it back into place in addition to having 
these locks. And there's a little more storage uh, right here and a countertop space here. I just love that they give you the thermostats in the coach um, right at the headboard. That's always a nice touch to me. You don't have to get out of the bed to adjust temperature. Um, it's not a big deal, but I don't know. To me, it makes a difference when you're in coach. The windows back here are nice too. We've got two windows on each side of the bedroom letting in a ton of natural light. All that Corian and all the same leather wrap pillars here are going on. Um, we've got the same shades. Actually, these shades are different. These are more of, uh, they call them Roman style shades. So it's got all that design on it. And throughout the coach, we've got these awesome vent out windows. About the best design vent out windows you'll see. So you can fold that little arm anywhere you'd like and then it keeps it vented out. There are these screens you can take on and remove if you'd like. And see that? Look, you just fold it right there. You want it there. Or you can go way out with it and you can even go right there. So that is a very nice touch. Um, and this is also an emergency window too, emergency exit. Well, that is this interior, enough said I think. You know, driving around in this coach, um, you're absolutely so insulated from everything. There's also a significant lack of vibrations from the engine. I mean, I don't even hear the engine, really. Over the, uh, the dash air that's blowing cold on me right now, I do not hear the engine. It's revving nearly 2,000, and we're <laughs> accelerating onto a, uh, a highway here. I can't hear it. It's also unbelievably rigid and solid. This translates to a lot of things, but um, the big thing is there's almost no sway in this coach sitting on the highway. It's also very unaffected by undulations, things like that. It's really easy to steer the bus. Um, it just wants to go straight. It just wants to go sit in the lane and be happy. Um, any time you find yourself like possibly bouncing in the lanes, that's totally on you. That's on you, bud. It's an extraordinarily smooth riding coach. Um, and as you can see, as I switch these lanes, the sway is minimal. There's also a lot of situations where you're making left turns um, out of red lights, where you're making turns into campgrounds, when you're going over speed bumps, things like that at low speed maneuvering stuff, where a Prevost shell is more stable than pretty much any other bus out there except for another Prevost. And that's one of the huge benefits of coming up to a bus like this. The highway driving is outstanding. It's unbelievably solid. It's unaffected by pretty much everything. Um, it's really smooth. There's very minimal vibrations. It, it doesn't beat you up as much and take as much energy, energy to drive long distance on the highway in a Prevo bus like this. But the other benefit is when you're getting in town, when you're making right turns, when you're going over these notorious roads that we've got, that have all kinds of potholes and undulations and things that can cause the coach to go back and forth or to rock a lot that you see even on a lot of air ride diesel coaches. And you just don't get that in a Prevo bus. So many times, in fact, when I'm driving this coach and I make a right turn or I make like a tight turn, I'm programmed in my mind to expect all this rocking to happen. But what happens is the coach just goes right through it and stays perfectly smooth and calm. And it's such a competent and well-built chassis. Um, it's 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 pretty it's pretty magnificent. Um, it's pretty unbelievable. All right, well that's the test drive. I um, hope you all enjoyed it. We will catch you on the we will catch you on the next video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And peace out.